Hello everyone, Kelly Jason here, and welcome back to Game Dev Tycoon. Um, it's all Secret Hide Games, aka the company that actually made the game, because I tried to get it cheap and didn't work. Um, we've just been selling Mission Difficult, which obviously is a parody of Mission Impossible, um, and we're ready to do some more stuff. I think last time I researched a bunch of parts for an engine, so now we can actually work on that engine, hopefully. We have 2.9 million in the bank, let's make a new engine. Let's add, mul we can add multiplayer. Have character progression, have better AI. I think that's enough for now. I need a couple things. Um, let's call this one some. Um, ooh. Two player mode V1. Because it has multiplayer and better AI and stuff. Which all the stuff you need for actually having two player mode. And. We're gonna work on this engine. It shouldn't take us too long because I like, upgraded the speed of our little employees here. All your games from recent years, and like to extend from foundation. Oh, cool! So this is this is E3 basically. It's, it's G3, but it's E3. Games, games, games. What does actually E3 stand for? Sounds like what is it? Electronics. Um. Entertainment. Engineering? Maybe? I don't know. That's not too bad. Wait, it sold... So each unit must have been less than a dollar. The game's mission difficult sold for less than a dollar a piece. <laughs> wow. We're doing alright, they were doing fine. We're doing fine, it's fine. Uh, game engine to play movie one is now complete. So now we can. Uh, hold on a minute. Can we research? Can we research? Because I swear you get the point. We can research sequels. Search. I don't unlock the ability to research sequels yet. Uh, but, uh, okay. Um, let's work on a new game. Uh, what topics do we have at the moment? Actually, wait. Before we do that, we'll try see if there's any good publishing deals to do. Uh, any topic simulation, fantasy RPG. Oh, there we go, fantasy RPG. You can do that easy. It's a brilliant idea for a game. Um, I'm gonna call this one. A um, ah, oh, Brian's computer quest. Basically, it's it's it, no wait, it's. it's It's also brains. Um, brains brilliant adventure. There we go. It's not an adventure, it's an RPG, but you know. Let's see. Want it for want it for everyone? I think it might be your audience might be good. I think everyone is best for this. Uh two player mode. V one. Two D graphics three two. Let's do it. Yeah, those balls coming in. I mean, we should be focusing on action games, because action games are sort of what we do best at. Um, if we pop up the gameplay a little bit, see, we can't actually quite fit it in, so we got to bump up the gameplay just a teeny tiny bit. And it should be just enough to have multiplayer in, because we want to save a game, we want to have two players playing it. Because Brian is going to have Brian E, his adorable sister, who is also going to help him on his brilliant adventure. But Brian is not important to have our own solo game just yet. We've got to accentuate the importance of the character. We want, we want to put... We want to have a little bit of AI in there just, just so we can fit that in. Um, is it worth hiring another employee? I don't know. Because last time I went to strip three employees, strip two employees, strip the bat. And, you know, I ended up losing my money. And I cried. Because I lost the game. Well designed graphics. Graphics aren't really important for an RPG, but sound is. No, actually, sound's the one not important. My apologies, I'm making mistakes all the way around everywhere. There we go. Uh, 
how many people come to our booth. Probably not a lot. Then it might boost the sales of Brian's Real Image. I still need to remember to market these games. Quick, it's not too late. It's not too late. It's not too late. You're not going on vacation. <laughs> Shut up. Magazines and demos. There we go. I forgot. I keep forgetting to market the game. We got some hype going on. This. You can go on vacation now. Oh, the hobby, the Vonnie, the Sony, Sony PlayStation. Fully owned by Vonnie. Industry professionals say this might be the bringing of a new generation of consoles. An inventor declined to comment. I wonder why. The place is most mark in the two months. Sequels. Nice. We can now actually research sequels. I like it's an RPG. Actually, it's especially pop. I like it's an RPG with more tech than design. Dialogue tree, day, night, night cycle. Um, research. We're gonna research sequels because we need to research sequels. Uh, you, oh, I can't actually quite get you on. Hurry up and be able to generate a game for there we go. Oh, reviews are coming in. Reviews are coming in. Oh, this could be terrible. Shows potential. I bet your games work well on PC. What do we do wrong? Quirky week. Maybe I put in a little too much in the engine. Maybe that's why. Fan sandwich is a great combination. Question there. Does it be meet the required ratings? Yes, it does. Thank you, Deep Platinum. Deep Platinum is actually in it, isn't it? What is it? Or is it, is it Deep Platinum? I swear Deep Platinum is the actual name, which is weird because most of them don't have the actual name, but this one does. Um, graphics, no. Do you want to, we'll go for a new topic, I think. Ooh, city. There we go. We can make cities skylines. Love design is quite important. Well, we knew that already. Um, Booker. But you want to, we want to train you in. Make me think. Yeah. We want to get because we want to get all those research points. I mean, we're getting quite a lot of research points at the moment, but because all you got to do is you got to balance your speed and your research points. I, I, I think because eventually you'll get to the point where everything costs a bunch. So you wanna. So you really need to um. You you really need to balance it to your speed because your speed also means that more points go in the faster you make games and stuff. I think and the faster you can also do your tasks that you get given. Um, horror, that'd be nice. Horror, I don't think I've ever used the horror genre before in this game. Um, Brian's Brilliant Adventure has gone platinum, I think? I think platinum, because 500 units is, um, 500,000 units is, uh, what is it? Let me repeat yourself, there we go. Because, yeah, 500k is gold, and I think platinum is, um, uh, th um yeah. Uh, contract work. We'll find a little contract work for you to do, lady. Deeper program? You could do that. You don't have much design, but you can do that. Many dedicated fans have made a, a pa paladin dancer. Oh, everyone loves paladin dancer. I've created a g fan game using a lot of material from my game. Oh, let's let him be. Let's let him be. I mean, pal who doesn't like paladin dance? It's one of those sort of key decisions you have to make in the game, which is like, do you want to be a dick, or do you want to, you know, sometimes you have to be a dick because you're running low on money, but Nonetheless, uh, don't repeat yourself. You can go and don't repeat yourself. Sorry, we're just sort of doing a bit of research at the moment, but <laughs> um, ah, there we go. It's finally off the market. You need one million again. It must be selling for these units. You're selling for less than a dollar. At least you think. Hi, I'm Denise Reed. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome, fam. Yeah, yes, yes. I know, I know. We gained a lot of fans. Um. You know, we're gonna actually screw it. We're gonna go with a. We're gonna go with another complex algorithms guy, because again, we want. Um, oh, we only go purely into design because we want to make uh, action games and stuff. We want to make the next Call of Duty. Or well, the first Call of Duty. Um, we want someone who's got good speed. There we go. I think he's got. He's got less. He's only got one design point. 
we can sort that, but he's got good speed and research. Which is what's important. Sorry, she. Whoops. Sorry, lady. Realizes he's his only man. Um. Okay, now we can we can develop a sequel now actually. So we'll develop our first ever sequel. Um so what was our best game of our early years? Judge's Plain Adventure, Starship Bloopers, Toji Manal, Game Dev Tycoon, Beautiful Joe. Um let's go with full mystery attorney, so it's a mystery adventure game. It's gonna be on the PC again. Because actually wait, no, because adventure games no they are good on the uh um, are they? Yeah. Pretty much everything. Um, and it's going to be called... Um... Let me um... Um... This one's Attack on Attorney. So this time it's Attack on Titan, but with lawyers. Just, Are you a bit involved in a giant Titan accident that wasn't your fault? Next. Um... Here's your FQ3. Yep, yep. We'll do that. We're not even going to train you. Actually, we should probably do the staff welcome training, which won't take maybe too long, I guess. Uh, stores and quests. Ooh, yeah, I think it... Hmm. Engine. Engine doesn't really need to be that much in it. Gameplay. I think stores and quests are more important than gameplay. And again. Oh. I guess we'll have to get a better user experience just to fit in character progression. Because we want to have character progression this time. Uh, and this time it's a multiplayer game. You can actually have multiple people... Um, Helping out, one of them can actually get in the damn Titan. I hope you're training, lady. We need your help. Dialogue, level design, AI. There we go. We're gonna market this like the sh out of it. We're gonna spend. We're gonna spend a quarter of all our money. There we go. Ah, oh, cool. Media size contracts can now be unlocked. We're spending a quarter of our money to market this game. Um, you know, put a, I think I don't think I think that's about right. Because I think it's very similar to RPGs how it's done, which is weird because we're making another game like that, which we shouldn't be doing because we should be working on action games. Let's see, thirty-eight. It's actually quite equal, which I think adventure games should be should be equal on both. Uh, new research, branching story, which isn't really important. First reviews have come in. I hope it's good for what amount of money I spent on it. Good game. Nice. Beautiful, informed game. Oh, it's good. It's got sevens. Good and better. Ah, screw you. And love it. So that's your counter It's a solid seven. So not as highly rated as the original, but I guess it's good. Generate game report. Um, research, some, ooh, no, we'll get you researching a new topic, I think, ooh, evolution, that sounds cool, and we'll train you in, don't repeat yourself, there you go, and we'll see how the, the weeks treat this game, in two months, the vendor gear will be taken off the market, Greenhide Games, my sequel, Great responses. Yay! We're good at making sequels, which we'll do a lot more often now. Because um, now we've got a lot of... Well, level design is not very important, even though I put level design as quite important. Topic, audience match, mystery, mature is great. I think that occurred last time. But now we know what the problem was. And we'll go to the small booth again, because we don't really need to do anything else. I'm going to spend some more of our research points on just getting people's um, speed and research points up. Because speed is all important. And with that note, and on the note of speediness, and on the note that it's now... Year 9, month 5, week 3. So we're actually doing pretty well. We actually lose, lost a little bit of money, I think, from the game, maybe. Um, I think that's fine, because this is equal. Um, every sequel makes people lose money. <laughs> that's the way it works. I'm kidding, of course. Anyway, guys, this was Katie Jacksack. Hope you guys enjoyed this video here. Don't forget to leave a like, favorite, and subscribe, all that lovely stuff. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye!